Hi there, my name's Dean, and I have over 30 years of experience in various aspects of marketing. And this time I'd like to talk to you about something that is the most important issue holding many small businesses back from getting involved in social media. What will I do if somebody writes something negative about me online? Well, here's the truth. You have already been reviewed if you've been in business for a while. There are both positive and negative reviews that have already been posted about your business online. You have only two choices as to how you deal with these reviews. The first, of course, is you can hope nobody reads the reviews. You can hope nobody sees them and maybe things will just go along the way they are. The second option you have is to have somebody on your staff deal with those reviews. Here's why I recommend you take the second route. You see, if you don't challenge a review, everyone who reads it later will assume everything the reviewer said is correct. Think about it for a minute. If you let it go, everyone else will assume it's true. Now, as for dealing with the review, most small businesses spend less than $100 a month on their social media campaign. In fact, 60% of small businesses spend less than $100 a month. And 74% of small businesses don't employ anyone to deal with their social media. So you really don't have to invest a lot of this. Now, worldwide, media reviews are actually quite good. You'll find across all product categories, 4.3 out of 5 is the average review for the average business, regardless of what you do. So that's not bad at all. Now, you're going to have the occasional negative review. How are you going to deal with it? First of all, you can't make everybody happy. Some people are not happy unless they are just miserable. The fact is, some folks are broken inside, and there's nothing you can do about it, and most people realize that's the case. So, if you get a negative review, the first thing you want to do is empathize with that person. Somebody else on the staff, not the person who was involved in the incident, will come back and say, Yes, you know, that sounds reasonable. Let's take an example. Applebee's is notorious for terrible social media reviews. They are awful. One thing they did that has now become infamous in the social media world is that they allowed one incident to rage on for months and months. They tried to uh, delete all the comments. They attempted to uh, argue with other customers. It was terrible and it has still echoed throughout the internet. This is probably the worst company at doing this and when they get a negative review, here's how they deal with it now. This is the more refined way. Please contact us. Now, if you'll notice, we've said the same thing twice on two different things, so it's cut and paste. That's not the way you deal with it. Wouldn't a better way be to say, gee, I believe you or I understand what you are saying, and I think you may have something going on here. Why don't you give us a call, and I'll be happy to talk with you myself and resolve this problem. Make every one of those different and tailored to the individual complaint. Let's keep moving. 80% of your comments are coming from 20% of your customers. This is very important. Identify these people. They're on your Facebook page, and you'll see the same names come up again and again, go ahead and single these people out and start talking to them. They also, by the way, have more value to you as a, as a business, as a lifetime customer. These people are not only advocates for your business, they're folks you really want to hold on to if at all possible. Now, bad reviews are not all bad. What I mean by that is Pretend you and I go to a website and we see 20 reviews, all of them are glowing. 
Wouldn't that make you a little suspicious? There's been some research done that finds actually your conversions will go up with a couple of bad reviews. Now that sounds counterintuitive, but think about it for a minute. That lets folks see that you're not trying to, to mediate the reviews, you're not censoring anything that comes onto your website, and it allows folks to see what you do if they have a problem with your product. And that's really who you're talking to. You're not talking to the person writing the negative review. In fact, you don't want them back in your shop ever again. But you're talking to the other people who come after them. And this is an opportunity for you to impress these would-be customers. Listen, this is a hard topic. It's hard to deal with and it's scary for a lot of managers. If you have a problem and you think I can help you, don't hesitate to call me. I'm right here and I am perfectly happy to talk to you anytime you would like. www.deanlewis.biz And as always, if you find this information informative, please subscribe. Thank you guys. Talk to you again soon.